so i and hello this is again alan the forex algo trader and in today's uh, video or uh, lesson i'm going to show you how to create this uh, beautiful cci uh, this beautiful cci uh, signal indicator based uh, signal based indicator expert advisor so the cci in this case simply stands for commodity channel index signal uh, over here so i have already attached it to the chart so that i can uh, briefly explain to you how it works so over here we have this kind of uh, indicator cci of course attached to the chart of a period of uh, 14 as you can see over here then we have like a uh, whenever we are uh, i am using currently 170 points so whenever this cci is below 170 points it, is, it means that uh, it, uh, that uh, that particular that particular commodity or uh, whichever that you are trading that particular symbol or uh, let's say commodity in this case or a for, uh, particularly forex commodity is uh, oversold which means that uh, which particularly now means that uh, we need to we need to it is oversold in this case so we need to buy so over here we open a buy position on the next tick so whenever we are below 170 points we open we open a, a buy position and you can see that uh, it pretty much pays out and then again whenever this uh, price this cci uh, value is above 170 points is above 170 points is above 170 points we will just go ahead again and open uh, it is just like particularly means it is just like uh, uses the same algorithm with the rsi such that whenever we are above 170 points or particularly when you can choose to use these uh, 100 points over here that whenever we are above this uh, over overbought uh, zone we just want to sell so you can see that uh, how many points are we okay not yet a little more so over here let me check these uh, points it is 171.18 so whenever we are above that uh, uh, 170 points we just open a sell position and then you can see it again pretty much pays out it again pretty much pays out and then over here we should open another position this is too much points this is even like a we should open a buy position yeah we open a buy position on the next points and then you can see we have a, a take profit of uh, 300 points and then uh, as well as we have a stop loss of again roughly 300 points so over here you can see how it pays or uh, it works out after a few points or uh, after a few uh, yeah so right now you can see it is a, a, a really winning expert advisor uh, based on this uh, cci commodity channel index uh, signal so right now i'm going to show you how to code how to code that one so right now i can actually even show you how you can add this one so just need to go to let me see just need to go to insert indicators then it is not a trend indicator it is an auxiliator so then it is the same as a uh, rsi Rel relative strength index so commodity channel index just click on it then over here you can see the parameters the period that you need to input is a 14 then you need to apply to a uh, typical typical price over here in this uh, case then the levels are uh, the levels are 100 in this case you can maybe modify it to let's say to let's say 100 and uh, let's say 70 and these one two let's say 170 points or whichever the points you wanna have let's say even 200 300 wh whichever that you want then the scale we just like uh, leave everything as a default then click on okay so over here you can see this is now how the cci uh, indicator channel i mean commodity channel indicator uh, index looks like in this uh, case so let let us then get started over here yeah. so the first thing that you want to do is uh, open meta editor and you can easily do this one by clicking on this little ide icon which activates meta editor for you so just expand the experts folder then pre-check the algo trading click on new 
expert advisor from template pretty much then providing the name let's say cci uh, ea then click on next next and then finally finish so over here i'll just like uh, go ahead and uh, we can do we can start coding this uh, thing right away so the first thing i can just compile this one we can compile our expert advisor then maneuver on on uh, we, we just need to source for it on the experts on the I'll go trading folder, source for it, so it is CCI, Expert Advisor, EA, then click on start. So, right now you can see, we do not have, we are not able to attach the indicator to the chart. So, the first thing that you want to do is attach the indicator to the chart pretty much. So, we can do this one easily by just going back, of course. Then, on the on in its section, we just need an uh, indicator adult. So we want to define an indicator handle. So integer data type, integer data type. Then we can have handle uh, CCI just the same way that uh, we do this one. Then over here, I'll just uh, take a few of our time to arrange this uh, the way I usually do. Then over here, we can have uh, we can initialize our indicator adult so that we can attach it to the chart once we initialize the expert advisor so what we need to do over here we need to go ahead and provide the, uh, our indicator so we can use this one using the i c c i predefined mql5 function can see it uh, returns an integer data type variable that is why we defined an integer uh, indicator cci handle over here so then we need to provide in the symbol so symbol symbol just go with this default symbol for the current chart then you need to provide in the period you need to provide in the moving average period which you saw it was 14 then we need to provide in the the applied price of of our handle so the applied price is a price price typical the one that you saw over there price typical in this case okay, so we can compile this one and then maybe we can have another uh, few check we can check that if we if this uh, handle is equals to invalid handle which means we were not able to initialize it so we just need to return a uh, initialization field initialization field so then we can compile this one and then you can maybe go back over here then i can uh, initialize this one and then you can have a, a look at the parameters that we have basically it is a simple uh, it is a real simple indicator of, uh, yes you can see so the moving average period that we provided is 14 then we provided the typical price as our applied price in this case so what you need to do is uh, initialize this expert advisor on the strategy tester and then you can have a look that right now we are able to like uh, initialize this uh, we are able to initialize our expert uh, our expert advisor uh, with the cci indicator attached to it so that is not the first thing so the other thing that uh, you need to do is a uh, read values from these uh, from this uh, indicator that we have attached to the chart and then we can just go ahead and uh, use the values that we read to, to that we basically copy these uh, values so that you can read them then we can have a look at the values and then we can make trading decisions so let us then do that in a real quick and easy way so we need to go to implement this one on the on tick function section over here which is basically a function that is called whenever you have uh, any kind of a tick a tick by a tick we mean a uh, price change so let's say this is a uh, audio sd 0, 0.0 i mean 0 0.78491 one then whenever we move either from one to zero or from one to two that is what we call a tick <laughs> that is what we refer to as a tick so the first thing that we need to do over here is a uh, copy these uh, values from our indicator addo that we have attached so we can do this one by using the copy buffer function and uh, as you can see it is uh, an overloading function however we'll just go with the with the 
we'll just go with the easier one so we need to provide in the handle indicator handle then we need to provide in the buffer number so the buffer number for our indicator if i were to go back our buffer number then initialize our navigator is it really navigator no data window so for the data window over here you can see that our cci is at buffer number one so what i will do is i will delete this indicator then reattach it again however over here you can see we do not have any any indicator buffer so the first buffer that will appear it will be buffer number one two three four and then yeah bra 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 so just go to insert i will just re insert it again commodity channel don't need to change anything press on okay so over here right now you can see we have a new indicator window and then the first buffer is this one so this buffer is buffer number zero then if there were any other buffers uh, below this uh, current buffer that could be buffer number one two three so we start at zero so the starting point is buffer number zero so what we need to do is uh, go back provide our buffer number zero then we need to provide in the starting position the starting position is a uh, zero the starting position is this one so we have zero this is no starting position uh, number zero or uh, index number zero one two zero one two three four five there in that kind of a uh, kind of a manner so we want to start not uh, since it is a repainting indicator it is a repainting indicator have a look over here at what i mean by repainting is that a uh, it is the, the current, the value of the current uh, bar over here is not fixed. You can have a look over here. It is not fixed. It is like uh, the current bar, the value of the current bar keep keep on changing each and every time. That is what we we like uh, define uh, to as a uh, repainting in this uh, case. So maybe I can slow this a little bit down. And then you can see the current bar is uh, not yet finished, but this value can be at this point over here yeah? it can be uh, on the same candlestick this uh, cci value can be at below negative 100 and at the same point it can rise up to 100 so it keeps on changing the decision is never made not unless that candlestick is a uh, is uh, initialized as you can see over here that line is uh, always repainted on each and every uh, tick on each and every uh, calculation of those uh, prices so what we need to do over here we do not need to to use the current one so we want to use not for the current bar but the bar prior to the current bar so which is one not zero for the current bar but one which is a, a bar prior to the current bar then we need to provide in the count the count is not the the number of bars the number of data to count so we can count maybe up to an extent of three what we mean by three over here is that uh, this is the bar number zero so we do not start at zero we start at one so starting at one we count three over there so we count uh, data for three bars particularly as you can see if we started at let's say this uh, bar over here uh, the uh, which L let me see the number of the current bar let's even say we start at bar number 20 21 it, it should be 21 bars within that range so if we provided provided our account for 21 our starting buffer at 21 then we provide three so we provide these up to three these three bars that uh, you can see between the cross air points so what we do over here that is what we do mean by three then we need to provide an array in this case as uh, you can see it is an array that needs to be passed by reference needs to be in double format in that uh, case so we need to provide our target array where we store the data that uh, we copy so our target array you can pretty much again define it over here we can say it is of course we are requested to have a double uh, data then data type of variable then we can let's say cci data then it should be in an array format so array format just provide these uh, square brackets then we can provide in our array over here so cc okay not yet documented cci data 
then we can compile this one so right now using this uh, copy buffer function we are able to copy the data from the indicator so which means we can uh, i can even print this data for you so array array print array print then you can provide in the the array so cci data then you can provide in the digits let's say digits of uh, up to what you know two two digits are enough then the separator can be something like uh, let's say a space and something particularly like this one so we can compile and then you can see that we are actually able to copy this uh, data this data so to visualize this one just need to navigate to the journal tab and then you can see that we are really able to copy that data however this data is now uh, generated on each and every tick so however you can see we are able to generate that particular data which you can see over here so this data if i were to open the data window this data let's say for the current bar so let us check the the data for the current bar okay we generate this one on each and every tick so which is a, a kike <laughs> so let us make sure that we generate this one on each and every band and not on each and every tick so we can have some variables over here like uh, let's say integer bars uh, current is equals to i bars using the i bars function just need to provide in the symbol then you need to provide in the period nothing else is needed from our end then we can have like uh, again integer for bars previous we can initialize this one to zero pretty much and then we need this one to be static static then we can do some checks over here so if let's say if uh, previous not previous but uh, if bars uh, previous is equals to equals bars uh, current then we want to return because it means that uh, we are certainly on the same on the same bar so there is no any new bar however if we are able to pass this uh, statement we just like uh, update the the previous bus to the current to the current bus in that uh, case so we can compile this one so which means we just like initialize this on on each and every we process our data on each and every tick so right now you can see we process it on each and every hour because we are running it on a one hour time frame so so yeah so right now you can see after each and every one hour over here we just like uh, that is when we print our data so right now what i wanted you to say is that uh, this is not the current data the current data is a uh, is a uh, 138 138 the, the cci this is what i am reading over here the cci data for the current one is 138 point zero one however you cannot see one that eight point zero one over here because we do not like uh, certainly print the, the the current data what we do print is this we prod we provided the the bar prior to the current bar which is now this bar at uh, index number one which is now zero point one eight which is negative i am reading this one over here and then i'm making comparison to this value over here so that is now zero negative 0 0.85 and then the second bar is a negative 171.44 and then the other bar is a negative 50.79 and that is what we have exactly over here however you can see that uh, this uh, data is a uh, indexed this the first data over here have a look so one two three so this is not indexed as the first second and third so the the data is stored in this uh, series is stored from is stored from a uh, left hand side to the right hand side however we need this data it is more convenient of course to use the current data uh, for analysis so what we need to do over here what we shall do over here is that uh, we want to this data we want to alternate this data we want to alternate this data such that this 50 is for the is for the that bar but it is indexed at position number one <laughs> so the last bar the last bars uh, the last 
uh, the last data is stored at the last value is stored at index number one and then the first value is stored at the last index that is not what we want to do we want to alternate it we want to alternate it so to alternate this one we need to set this one as a as a time series and to set this one as time series we can come over here and we can provide a uh, we can use the array set a series buff uh, in the uh, function then you can provide in the cci data then we can go ahead and provide uh, the boolean flag over here so the boolean flag is either you want to set it as a time series or not so if you set it at, uh, to force it will not have any kind of a effect however you need to set this one to true of course because you want to alternate it you want to exchange uh, this uh, buffer value so if i compile this one and then run it again you can see that the first buffer will be stored at the first the last will be stored at the first and then the first will be stored at the at the last so i don't know which was it which buffer was it 50 yeah right now you can see we alternate it so the first bar over here which is now 0 0.85 is stored at index number one then the second bar is stored at uh, the second index then the third is stored at the last buffer over here so you can see so which means now that uh, using that uh, that um, presented criterion we can then go ahead we can then move ahead and uh, we can like uh, pretty much uh, do what we can like uh, do some checks what do we want to do over here then mm. okay what i want to let me uh, let us do it here so we want to check that uh, whenever we are below let's say this 100 point we want to we want to to place us um, a buy trade we want to place a buy trade and whenever we are above these 100 points we want to place as a, a sell trade so what we want to do what we need to do is a uh, so it means that the value over here should be below 100 should be below negative 100 for us to place a buy trade so what i will do i will just go back i can we can have some if statements over here pretty much then we can have them in this uh, format so we need to say that if cci data for the for this uh, index number let's say zero in this uh, case is less than if it is less than let's say negative let's say 100 or 170 let me just go with 170 so if we are below 170 we want to go ahead and uh, place a buy trade so we can print over here we can let's say print print something like uh, something like a uh, buy signal something like this one so compile this one and then we can click on start so whenever we are below 170 we should be we should print a buy signal in that instance so right now you can see that uh, our ea is uh, working pretty much fine however we just need to do some other some other checks in this uh, case like over here you can see that uh, we just want we just print a buy signal since we are let me check this bar the value of this bar is a uh, 250 the value of the the prior bar is a uh, 300 yeah which means we present two buy signals we just want to have one buy signal which means that uh, the current bar in this uh, case should be the prior bar which is now the bar prior to the current bar should now have a value less than less than 170 less than the value or let's say greater than in this case because it is negative so greater than 170 so we can have over here we need to go ahead and have another we can provide another check so cci data for the prior bar in this case before the current bar we want to have uh, it needs to be greater than the value over here which is now 170 so it needs to be greater than 170 so that we have just one signal 
per cross just one signal per cross so compile this one and then we can have a look so whenever our value is uh, greater than 170 the current bar is at 2 so the prior bar the value for the prior bar is 171 negative 171.44 which means we should buy in this uh, case yeah <laughs> so right now we can then go ahead and uh, okay i can show you another thing i can show you another thing it, it is not like a super considerate or a fixed that you need to print to, to buy whenever you have this cross you can this is what i mean instead of placing a cell position over here whenever we have this cross you can decide to use to cross to place a cell position whenever we are crossing below this uh, line whenever we are crossing back the 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 signal so let us have a look let me quicken this on a little bit what i mean is that eh, instead of presenting a buy signal for this uh, current bar over here whenever we have this kind of a uh, particular cross we present whenever we cross back whenever we cross back so we place a buy so this is the point where we place a buy so instead of placing a buy at this particular point over here which is uh, particularly an average of uh, this point when we instead of placing a buy position over here we place a buy position over here whenever we have this crossing back so i can show you how to code that one right away so what i need to do is i copy this one and then what you just need to do is I alternate this one so okay <laughs> even before i do this one let us place some trades so that you can see the the significance that we have so to place trades this is all that we need to do just need to go ahead yeah, using the hashtag include uh, providing the trade the trade then slash trade dot m q h then we need to provide in the C thread class. So what we done, we have done over here is that uh, we want to include a folder or a file name that is contained on the includes folder. Then using this uh, C thread class, this C thread folder. Then whenever you expand it, you can see we have uh, this thread dot mqh. Then whenever you expand this uh, file, you can see we have access to all the the positions or uh, methods and uh, buy open order buy and sell that is what we want to use to open positions however we just need to create a class an object using this citrate class so using that citrate class citrate class you can create an uh, object to trade pretty much so we can use this object to trade to open uh, positions so we can have obj obj trade dot uh, let's say open a buy position in this uh, case so for us not to open a buy position let's say a volume of uh, 0 0.01 and then symbol let's say symbol for the current symbol then for the price we need to provide the price over here so i can have double double uh, ask is equals to symbol info double providing the symbol name provide in the symbol ask then we can then have uh, normalize this one to digits pretty much so over here just need to normalize this one to digits so i can just copy this one and then paste the argumentation so that we can on alternate this one to fit the the bid price also so bid again so over here we usually buy at the we buy at the asking okay we buy at the asking price then uh, for the stop loss maybe you can have a stop loss of uh, let's say stop loss is a trade level so we can we need to associate our trade level for the buy position to the bid so bid let's say stop loss for buy is below so below by 300 then we need to convert our 300 to readable point 
to redouble points in this case then again I can just pretty much copy this one and then paste the argumentation for the take profit so i just need to alternate negative to positive then click on compile everything now compiles fine so right now you should we should be able to place by traits by traits whenever we have the cross below 170 so instead of printing the signal we print the signal to the user as well as we open a buy position so we open a buy position at this particular point over here at this particular point however we can choose to place a buy position whenever we are crossing back so what i mean is uh, what i wanted to mean is uh, i can just go ahead and copy this on and then paste the argumentation over here so so if we want to trade whenever we are closing back to handle to trade whenever we are closing back so we can all we need to do is uh, alternate these uh, signs greater than to be less than that is all then compile and then just need to click on start so whenever we cross back is whenever we trade so but yeah <laughs> you can see of course we trade much far much earlier because on this uh, candlestick over here this is the candlestick where we cross back as you can see this uh, candlestick where we cross back so we cross back then we open a buy position then again over here we do not place a buy trade like uh, we could have done so we do not place a buy trade so we just like wait and whenever we cross back we open another buy trade over here so if you want to trade whenever we are crossing back this is what you just need to do so yeah so what you can do is uh, i will just like uh, leave this uh, alone leave the cross back alone so whenever you want to to trade whenever you are crossing back this is just what you need to do however for me i'll just uh, leave that one out copy the argumentation over here and then have it for the sell trade too so over here what we need is uh, else else if cci data uh, this is now greater than 170 positive because we want to place a sell trade then again this should be less than this time uh, round less than 170 so can get rid of this one do we really need a sell signal yeah maybe sell signal then we do not want to buy but uh, sell have a sell position so we just sell at the bid price so which means we associate our trade levels to the asking price so this is no plus and then ask this is no minus then that should not do our all magic so over here we should be able to place a buy and sell positions respectively so let us have a look then so we place a buy position which ends up being a winner then we open a sell position because this current bar this bar uh, is the value of that bar is above 170 so it is actually 171.18 i mean like uh, it is not even a must for you to use this 100 this 100 uh, this 170 points that we are using you can use you can go ahead and use your own one let's say 200 100 or whichever the points that you want to use after doing your optimization for your particular expert advisor so right now again you can see that uh, our expert advisor is uh, pretty much working fine just as uh, we want it to be in this uh, case and you can see it is uh, a real profitable one once optimized so yeah so right now that is no this is not the full code that you need you can see it is a, a real easy one you can see this is not the all of the code all of the code that uh, you need to do that you need to create a, a, a cci a commodity channel index uh, indicator expert uh, okay <laughs> indicator expert expert advised uh, based or uh, whichever okay this is not the full code that you need to create uh, a full cci uh, indicator expert advisor so yeah 
so i think this uh, lesson was uh, fruitful to you and if it was please consider to giving us a like comment and uh, share this particular uh, lesson so that others can have a look at it and uh, benefit from it so this is not everything that uh, you needed to know about this about this uh, this cci commodity channel index uh, indicator based expert advisor so that is all uh, thank you and bye bye for your time and uh, have a nice trade